Shirk in Islam. The word shirk comes from an Arabic word generally meaning to share. In the context of religion, it means giving rights of Allah to someone other than Allah, God. Shirk is the act of ascribing a partner or rival to Allah in lordship, rububiyah. Only God has the right to be worshipped or venerated. One who believes that any other than Allah created him or believes there is an entity worthy of worship besides Allah, God, is committing the grave sin of shirk. Shirk is often translated to mean the practice of polytheism. The act of shirk includes failing to worship God, denying his existence, and sharing or associating a partner with him. Whether the partner is a prophet, an idol, the sun, the moon, or any other being or thing. Shirk is considered the most severe sin in Islam. Shirk is regarded as the cardinal sin in Islam. Shirk nullifies all of one's good deeds and denies one the rewards of the hereafter. And it was already revealed to you and those before you that if you should associate anything with Allah, your work would surely become worthless and you would surely be among the losers. Quran 39.65 Shirk is the only sin that God will not forgive of an individual, if not sincerely repented for before his or her death. Indeed, Allah does not forgive association with him, but he forgives what is less than that for whom he wills. And he who associates others with Allah has certainly fabricated a tremendous sin. Quran 4.48 If one repents and ceases from engaging in shirk, then he or she would be forgiven, as repentance wipes out every sin without exception, as long as one repents before death. The very reason for our creation was to worship the one God solely, and not anyone or anything else. Shirk denies the purpose of man's creation. Shirk deviates from the natural state of man, which is the belief of the one God and the worship of him alone. It was not until much later that shirk started to spread in humanity, after the existence of Taweed, monotheism, the worship of the one God. Worshipping and praising deities other than Allah, who have no power to benefit or harm, is an act of injustice to Allah, who created this whole universe and gave life to you and me. Shirk is also an act of ingratitude. Shirk is the root of evil and causes the greatest downfall of human dignity and status. Islam strictly states that all types of prayers should only be directed to God the Almighty, and no one or nothing else. God is in total control of every man's destiny and is the only one that can benefit a person, grant one's needs and desires, and that can remove one's harms and distress. In the Holy Quran, one that engages in shirk is referred to as a mushrik or mushriking in its plural form one that takes part in shirk and plots against Islam. The Holy Quran refers to them as the enemies of Islam. The mainstream Christian belief of the Trinity is considered a type of shirk, although not the worst kind of shirk, such as worshiping, bowing down, or sacrificing for an idol or an image. Any shared divinity is considered shirk. They have certainly disbelieved who say, Allah is the third of three, and there is no God except one God. And if they do not decease from what they are saying, there will surely afflict the disbelievers among them a painful punishment. Quran 573. The opposite of shirk is taweed, monotheism, which is the maintaining and observing of the worship of the one and true creator while acknowledging his uniqueness and attributes. The Christian belief that Jesus is the Son of God, or God himself, is the direct opposite of Tawhid. They have certainly disbelieved who say that Allah is Christ, the son of Mary. Quran 5.17 Trinity, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and the concept that Jesus died for our sins is firmly rejected in Islam. O people of the scripture, do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah, and his word which he directed to Mary and the soul, created at the command from him. So, believe in Allah and his messengers, and do not say, three, desist, it is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God, 
exalted is he above having a son. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth, and sufficient is Allah as disposer of affairs. Quran 4, 171 God makes it clear in the Quran that the act of ascribing a son to him angers him. Ascribing a son to God is beneath the Almighty. God states, And they say, The most beneficent, Allah, has begotten a son, or offspring, or children. Indeed you have brought forth, said, a terrible evil thing, whereby the heavens are almost torn, and the earth is split asunder, and the mountains fall in ruins, that they ascribe a son, or offspring, or children, to the most, to the most beneficent, Allah, but it is not suitable for the majesty of the Most Beneficent that he should beget a son. Quran 88-92 Having multiple gods is illogical. According to the Holy Quran, there can only be one God. If there were various gods, they would have been competing to establish superior strength. The aggressive presence of two gods would have also destroyed the heavens and the earth. If there were in the heavens and the earth other gods besides Allah, there would be confusions in both heaven and earth. But glory be to Allah, the Lord of the throne. High is he above what they attribute to him. Quran 21:22. Shirk is a very serious matter in religion, as it makes something sacred that God has not made sacred, an act of obscuring the truth. The Holy Quran and Sunnah, sayings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, indicate that the act of shirk sometimes expels a person from the religion of Islam, and sometimes it does not. Therefore, Islamic scholars divided shirk into the categories of major shirk, shirk al-Akbar, and minor shirk, shirk al-Asghar. Major shirk, shirk al-Akbar, is very serious and takes one out of the folds of Islam. Major shirk is ascribing to someone other than Allah, something that belongs only to Allah the Glorious, such as lordship, Rububiya, Divinity, Uluhaya, and the divine names and attributes of God, Al Asma Wasafat. These gods can be in the form of priests, kings, objects, animals, spirits, or anyone or anything other than Allah the Almighty. Major shirk can come in the form of beliefs, words, or actions. Major shirk can be seen outwardly, such as when one worships idols or graves and can be hidden, such as when one who relies upon gods other than Allah. Major shirk occurs when one prays or supplicates to one other than Allah. Major shirk includes believing someone or something other than Allah who creates and gives life and death and is in full control of everything. Major shirk also comprises the belief that someone other than Allah must be obeyed. Major shirk also includes the idea that others apart from Allah know the unseen. Major shirk also comprises the act of loving something that is a created being equally or more than Allah. For example, this occurs when one is so emotionally attached to wealth, they make its attainment their goal in life. Wealth becomes everything to them. Those individuals took money as their God. Major shirk also includes loving to obey one's desires more than Allah. One would follow their desires even if it leads to disobeying Allah. Such one takes their desires as their God, and they act according to their whims. God states, Have you seen he who has taken as his God his own desire, and Allah has sent him astray due to knowledge, and has set a seal upon his hearing and his heart, and put over his vision a veil? So, who will guide him after Allah? Then will you not be reminded? Quran 45.23 Minor shirk, shirk al-Ashgar, does not make the doer a disbeliever or remove one from the folds of Islam. However, minor shirk is still a major sin. Minor shirk includes everything that may lead to major shirk. Minor shirk consists of any action which is done to gain praise, fame, or any other worldly purpose. This is considered shirk because the individual is doing an action for other people, instead of for the sake of God. Examples of this can take the form of praying to God in front of others, intending to gain praise from people, or the case of donating to a charity to show off, to gain fame, or for any worldly purpose. 
When one commits such action, the good action gets nullified and the doer receives no reward for it. Our prophet stated, The thing I fear most for you is minor shirt. They, the companion, said, O Messenger of Allah, what is minor shirk? He, peace be upon him, said, Raya, indeed, Allah, blessed and exalted be he, shall say on the day of resurrection to the people who used to do good deeds for show, Go to those for whom you were showing off with your acts in a worldly life and see if you can find with them recompense. Minor shirk also includes swearing oaths made by those other than Allah. For example, saying, I swear by such and such. It can be major shirk depending on particular situations. Minor shirk also includes the belief in evil omens or superstitions. When the act of minor shirk becomes a habit in all of one's deeds, it becomes major shirk. One should be cautious of shirk, as this evil can be inconspicuous and not as noticeable. Our prophet stated, Ash shirk al kafi the inconspicuous shirk. In the Muslim nation is more inconspicuous than the creeping of a black ant on a black rock in the pitch darkness of the night. Therefore, one should take extra precaution to avoid the commission of this sin. According to the Holy Quran, one who commits shirk and believes in a deity other than Allah will live a life of constant fear and anxiety. We will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve for what they have associated with Allah, of which He had not sent down any authority. And their refuge will be the fire, and wretched is the residence of the wrongdoers. Quran 3, 151